I think it's already explained just how much of a decline TF2 has been on just for about four or three years now. And honestly, it's just quite depressing for many players who still want to play it. I think most people just quit around this time anyways because, well, TF2 has basically just become almost unplayable at this point. Almost. I say almost because, well, sometimes you get lucky with your games because you don't run into bots. Now, if you're a TF2 player who hasn't played in a while, or someone who hasn't really checked in on TF2, at least in a while, or someone who somehow does not know about the current situation in TF2, I will explain it. So what's going on right now is that a bunch of virgins decided to code bots, or just, you know, just tools or bots to just go into casual games in TF2, just ruin the fun, Basically, they'd send like about 5 to 10 bots just to, you know, cap the objective, aimbot everywhere, spin bot, wall hack, you know, all that fun stuff. And sometimes they're very hard to counter. Sometimes those virgins are so bad at coding that you can actually kill the bots with a headshot from a sniper. It's actually pretty funny when that happens, but yeah, honestly, overall, it's, it's pretty interesting. But anyways, yeah. So basically, a bunch of virgins coded a bunch of bots to ruin a almost 14-year-old game. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is 14 years old, so that's awesome. But, yeah. So, unfortunately, these guys don't have any happiness in their lives, so they decide to ruin other people's happiness to justify themselves and their depressing attitude. But, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much the situation we're currently in. Although, you may be asking, well, surely Valve would want to fix this. I mean, it's something that truly affects the game, and it's something that surely would cause a major PR disaster for them. Why would they not want to fix it? Well, that's the part that everyone's confused about. Why won't they fix this bot crisis? It's seriously baffling just how long this bot crisis has been going on and it hasn't been fixed. And really, the only fixes are just basic stuff. And it kind of just shows that at this point, TO2 as a development, or at least being in development, is pretty much cancelled or abandoned. Because the only updates we receive are basically bug fixes. And even the major annual like season events or updates are basically nothing as well. They're basically just crates and just new maps from the community. And also, most of the time, they don't even play test the maps properly, so now they're like unplayable or at least broken messes of maps so it really just shows just how lazy or at least how empty the tf2 development is because based on what we know from valve sources it appears that there's only like one or two developers that are mostly working on tf2 not even full-time just mostly like part-time at least and really they do it when just, you know, they have the time to, or just have some time to kill. So, it's really just depressing that TF2 has become to this state, because TF2 still makes millions for Valve. And for a 14-year-old game that still makes that much money, sh any other developer would surely want to fix the issues with TF2. Because it's still making the money, and it still has an active community. So why else would you want to abandon development? Really, it's just a one big why. Just a one big why, because just I don't understand why Valve has to be like this. But maybe we shouldn't throw the blame on Valve as a company, but rather Valve's employee culture. Because also from Valve sources, it seems that the people who generally work on games that are less popular compared to the newer products, so... Let's assume like Half-Life Alex or something. So let's assume that this is around 2020 or so when people were when they were still working on Half-Life Alex. Well, if you were to be working on TF2 instead of Half-Life Alex, which is arguably a more better thing to work on because, well, it's just a newer product. It's a lot less chaotic to deal with, and it also likely will make you more money because you're being paid to do something that will dictate whether or not Valve is going to have a future market in video games continually but yeah pretty much anyone who works on tf2 or other older games is pretty much shunned on and well as a result 
no one really wants to actively work on TF2 at Valve. It's really just part-time and those who have time to kill to at least fix something in their jobs. So it's just incredibly depressing that TF2 has become this. I mean, so many exploits have been found by these dumbass virgins trying to, you know, ruin people's time and fun. And really, I mean, sometimes it's taking a while for Valve to even respond. So it really only seems like Valve steps in when something absolutely game-breaking happens. And, well, I mean, this bot problem, I understand that it's complicated to fix. And of course, I mean, with only like one or two employees that are partly working on this game, it's probably like a monumental task. But really, this should be like a really high priority, but it really is not for Valve, I guess. It's just unfortunate, really. But yeah, I, I've i really just... A lot of people like to hate on Valve for what they are now. But again, thing is though, Valve has a completely different employee culture compared to other video game companies because the individual employee has a lot more power than the average employee at, say, Activision, Blizzard, or wherever else. Because thing is though, at Valve, they let employees do their own thing. So, yeah, it sounds cool, and it sounds fun, and it sounds like a great way to, you know, be creative and all that, but, of course, what that does is that it incites people, or at least incites employees, to pretty much just dog on anyone who tries to work on older products, because, well, you know, they're products of their time, and plus, the code in that game is probably just a jumbled mess, and especially because of Source, because, well... Source Spaghetti is just absolutely insane. Now, I mean, we can't completely blame Valve, okay? It's just, we can't completely blame them. There's many different moving parts and problems that really no one can expect to fix, and it's just kind of hard to fix in general. And of course, TF2 is so old that, well, I mean, the code is just a mess, and it's kind of just hard to you know, change or try and fix, because if you try and fix one thing, it's just going to make everything worse. So people just, employees at Valve just don't try and work on it, because, you know, it's just easier if you just do simple bug fixes that, you know, just can be done in maybe a few days and just overall fix little things. But if you try and fix the bot crisis with an advanced technique to completely stop them, Oh, well, I can only imagine how screwed up you're going to screw the entire game, and you're probably going to get fired from your job. So, yeah. I don't know. It's just quite depressing how TF2 has become like this. But here's a solution to this. Here's a solution to our problem with TF2 currently. The fact that the developers of Valve, or at least the employees at Valve, don't want to work on the game is just... It's stupid, of course, and you know, it's just like, there's only two people that are basically working on it, and even then, they're not doing it full-time. So, pretty much everyone in the TF2 community is like, well, if we can't have developers at Valve help to make the updates, why don't you just give it to the community who knows the game just as well as you do? I mean, it has worked before, almost, and plus, I mean... Did you see the last stand update? It worked very well there. I mean, they gave community members the ability to make an update, and it worked really well. I mean, of course, some people did not like the update, but it wasn't a complete clusterfuck, and it worked. You know, like, people liked the changes. So why not just give the game to the community, and, of course, you can just, you know, nod your heads in approval if you like something from them. And if they you don't like something, you thumbs down, disagree, whatever. That's fine. I think that's probably the best solution we have. If you're not going to work on the game, or you're just going to completely abandon it, give it to the community who will work on it and help you fix it. Because they likely have more time than you do to fix it. So, just why not give it to them? Really, it's such a simple fix that... It just baffles me that they won't do anything about it. I mean, this bot crisis is causing Valve to look like just... They they basically look like parents who abandon their kids, essentially. Because TF2 
is still like one of their pillars in terms of gaming. I mean, many people will say it's a dead game, but ironically, it's actually better off than like 29th pre like pandemic levels because I mean, we've topped the player count record twice and that was done without bots. Even with the bots infesting the game, that was done without bots. So that just really shows that TF2 is still growing and it still has an active player base. So why won't Valve fix it? If it's making them millions of dollars, and I mean, you know, companies love making millions, surely you'd want to spend at least, you know, some money, of course, some money, to just fix this issue that would make you even more money. It's like literally a net positive. But I guess whatever. I mean, for them, it's just, if you do the minimum effort, but still make millions, what's even the point of trying to fix anything? It just does not, it's just really sad. So yeah, I think in general, the problem with TF2 being abandoned is that Valve employees who want to work on the game just are feeling pressured not to. And I feel bad for them. But we also have to blame Valve in general, of course. I mean, they're still a company, so of course we have to give them criticism. And I mean, you know, compared to other AAA companies that, you know, make really shitty decisions nowadays, the thing with Valve is that, well, they're just kind of lazy. But for these other AAA companies, they're just kind of scummy in general. But Valve is really just lazy and, you know, they just want to do the minimum effort possible to make millions. And they still do good things. I don't, I'm not going to doubt them for that. They still do really cool stuff. Of course, Hast Life Alex was a really good game when I played it, at least. And of course, you know, they're, the Valve Index is really good. It's pretty much the best VR headset on the market. And plus, they, you know, they treat the Steam Deck like the consumer's own product. Like, if you buy it, then you can mess with it yourself and tinker with it. And that's cool. They give people options. But unfortunately, when it comes to games, and especially their older games that really just define their genre, it doesn't seem like they want to give people many options. It really just seems like, you know, things get old, and, you know, at some point, you just got to abandon it. Now, I would agree with that point, but TF2 is not dead. It's not, it's nowhere close. And it's probably not going to be declining for any time soon, at least, I'd imagine. This game still makes millions. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions, still play this game. And it's still the top 10, mo it's still one of the top 10 most played games on Steam. So I don't get why you have to abandon it. Literally, if any other developer was in Valve's position, they would still update TF2. This TF2 is something that every developer wants. A game that lasts for an incredibly long time and has an active player base and still makes a lot of money. But whatever. It's Valve's decision. It's in their court. But we're just giving them options. We're trying to give them a decision. We want them to give the game to the community, but they're not doing it. They have done it with others, with other games. And of course, Left 4 Dead was a good success. And they have done community updates before in TF2, like the Invasion update, although that update was a bit of a chaotic mess, which probably is the reason why we haven't gotten another community update in TF2, because Valve would want to see that, you know, they just, they don't really trust community members to fully organize properly. But that really sucks, because I feel like nowadays, that problem doesn't really exist anymore, because, well... TF2 fans in general are so starved of content, and they, they have so many ideas that we, you know, we can easily just organize and do things ourselves. Our community is still really strong, so, yeah. It's really just Valve's decision, and whatever they do, whatever. But, really all we hope for is just that they fix this bot crisis. Honestly, for myself... I don't care about the heavy update anymore. I literally just want an end to these bots. I want to have a positive experience playing TF2 casual. I'll deal with very long periods of up downtime of updates, but I will not deal with bots infesting every game and these teenagers in their mom's basement are able to take advantage like they, they're taking advantage of like a little girl or something. It's disgusting. 
So yeah, do something, Valve.